So private members will be so defined something like this. And you can access the private members something like this. So this is the procedure to be accepted in a private member in uh, Python. Okay. Now protected. So partially private. Protected does mean partially private. They will be have some kind of uh, access within the derived classes. You could able to access those uh, members within the derived class. Okay, within the derived class, you can able to access them. Then how could you define them here in the sense, you could able to define them with single underscore. For example, single underscore name will be considered as a, so private attribute. Whereas a single underscore, uh, so single underscore, for example, DEF define, so single underscore display, of self will be considered as a private method. Sorry, protected method, not private actually, sorry, uh, protected. Okay, protected method, protected method. Okay, something like this here. If single underscore will be taken into consideration, then that will be, that will be considered as a, so uh, protected method. And uh, and uh, so double underscore will be there with you, then that will be considered as private uh, attribute or private members. Okay, so that is what you need to consider here. For doing this particular activity, so let us uh, take one more problem here. Same problem actually, same problem. Let me, so let me take the same problem here again. So here, so protected also having so any kind of issues here. So you just define with the single underscore, okay? Name, age, and branch. Let me say, let me say this one is uh, protected only. So these are not private, these are protected. Okay, protected numbers. Because we do have only single underscore. And uh, here we'd like to, here we'd like to consider as a single underscore and single underscore. And of course, our display also single underscore and our branch also single underscore. Okay. So let me take this particular thing here. Say with another name. Protected. Okay. So let me eliminate this particular class from my, from my, so explanation and this class will also be eliminated from the explanation here. However, you can take uh, this particular thing here. Something seems like this. Now, so here it is not required. As of now, it is not required. Let me make them. Let me make them. So in, in, in uh, let me make them in uh, comment lines. And in derived classes, in derived classes, directly you could able to use this one here directly you could able to use this one here okay directly you can able to use this one here. display directly you can use here okay rc is not required actually ah, yes rc is also required college is there with you okay so now you can take this particular thing so previously if you if you take in this particular thing i mean a private thing so look at this previously so if you access uh, somewhere else Yes, here. If you access this particular thing here, person does not have any because so we have called something like this underscore underscore display. So person does not have any underscore underscore display as a private uh, so uh, method. This method is not supposed to be accepted towards instance as well. And here also, so if I created one uh, derived class and within this particular derived class uh, display, so look at this uh, underscore underscore display. It doesn't have any access outside of the particular class here. You can see this one here. So we don't have any such kind of activity here. So therefore, so it is not supposed to be taken into consideration here. So somewhere else one mistake is there. Yes. Ah, okay. This is already, already this is. Uh, okay. Look at this. How this can be gets uh, accessed here. So it is a protected method. protected method and all these members are protected members and everything is protected only. So protected will be always accessed by 
the derived classes so student is the derived class here yes we have taken derived class here within this particular derived class yes i have uh, able to access this particular method here only protected methods will be or protected members will be able to access only with the derived classes outside of uh, so uh, uh, one class or derived class it could not be gets accepted it should not be gets accepted here outside they cannot be accepted for example let me let me take off this one for a while let me take off everything for a while just cut from this particular program and uh, here it is uh, actually person p r s one person hari 21 and so on and so forth so look at this i have created one instance for the person here and I'd like to display something like this underscore D I S P L E Y underscore display. If I would take something like this, it won't accept you. It won't accept you. Look at look at this. Look at this. Let me execute this one for a while. Oh, it is being accepted. Mm, okay. So protected. Oh, since it is protected method, it is being accepted. There is no problem at all. Outside of the so class also because it is the instance of this particular person. So protected will be gets accepted and this protected could also be accepted could also be accepted here here as well okay here also you could able to accept here okay one more extra parameter is required here rcee -E. so extra parameter four uh, positional parameters are required for this one here so look at this so it could be able to it could be able to accept it in a proper way what is this uh self super dot name init ah sorry i have to take uh, the definition must be with uh, with the student i have to take with student i did not change anymore here so that is where the error has been come out so here so i have been defined with the person hari 21 csl rc actually we are giving four positional but you have taken five so that is the error message here so i am not supposed to create any instance for person person will be so part and parcel of student here because the person is one of the so inherited uh, class for the student so that is why i have to create only student as my instance here so i have to create only student uh, as my instance from this particular student i can access so the person as well now you can see it could be gets executed in a proper way okay like this like this you could able to access here so therefore this is the problem where exactly you need to consider so protected in the sense so within the class and uh, derived class are for instance for any instance you have created everything will be gets uh, accepted here but uh, that particular protected cannot be accessed outside of the class outside of the class in the sense one more extra class will be created without inheriting anything thereby you are trying to access your uh, protected or private thing they are not supposed they are not supposed to accept it here so this is what about uh, the protected here protected will be always taken single underscore single underscore will becomes uh, with uh, single underscore will becomes with uh, what you call protected and the double underscore will become with uh, private without any single underscore or double underscore will be considered as public without anything will be considered as public so they are trying to modify the access of members they are trying to so this particular thing will be prohibited to access outside of the class this particular thing will be prohibited to access outside of the class but within the class and within the derived class or instance it can be accepted it can be accepted here so therefore therefore so the scope of the variable or the scope of the attribute or scope of the method will be so restricted so therefore they are called as access specifiers otherwise access modifiers that is the reason why these are called as with that name okay so this is the problem which you have to consider i'd like to send all these problems to you so far how many problems we have discussed every problem will be attached to you through google classrooms after the completion of this class after completion of this class let me do this one here
So this is what the class for today. Access specifiers, and you can see, you can see, look at this. Uh, this particular design with the classes is gets over here. Design with the classes. Of course, case study of ATM is there. I'd like to give you that particular ATM at the end of this uh, subject. How the case study will be done using inheritance. Using inheritance, how this could be done. Let me give you at the end of this particular uh, course. Not exactly right now. And how could you structure the classes with the inheritance and with the polymorphism? Polymorphism in the sense overloading. Function overloading. Sorry, operator overloading. Uh, will be called as a polymorphism. Inheritance, with inheritance, how to define the classes and how to do the activities, everything has been, so, doing the activities here, okay? So this is what uh, the unit number four. In unit number four, only one topic is left over. The topic is case study. This case study, you need to understand the inheritance in a proper way by using this particular case study. Let me define this particular case study at the end of this class, probably end of uh, this particular uh, this particular exceptions. After exceptions, I'll discuss with the uh, uh, case study. Then I'll go for GUI, graphical user interface kind of uh, so explanation. Probably it may require some uh, so three to four classes. Probably by by third of this month, everything will be gets, uh, finished. And we'll come up with a so fresh mind uh, by fourth or fifth. Okay, then we'll discuss the complete uh, previous question papers in a proper way. Okay, so that is what our class today.